Hey guys, what is up? This is Shark, and I am back with more Legends Arceus. Um, yeah. We're gonna start off. We're gonna start off by doing that. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> also, I changed my hair color in this game to a hair color I wish I could have in real life, but work says, like, my job is, like, no crazy hair colors, so... If you want to gain experience really quickly, Blissey. continue the story since I have accidentally triggered the uh, cutscene four times running around this area. Why, if it isn't Soleil, what a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of snowcaps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? And why wouldn't you be? So Avalo, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles that can cause sharp ice, cr ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too on. What's more, apparently, the Avalug of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh yeah. No, oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps and give your training all... your all. Nothing better than building muscle than that. Onward now, to the arena. Hmm. 
Well, yes, I did want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. I have a cat at my door. We're gonna rush past this. And the cat just ran off. My starter and I match. So we're to club. Well, Avalog, as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you talk am among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose better, better get to work making some balms with that, using that eternal ice. I've heard how they're made. With, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. I'm terrified for this one, if I'm being completely and utterly honest. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on the path that lies before you, but know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll be- You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm gonna save first. What? What? Okay. Oh my god. Back off.
my god. Oh my god. I don't care. <sighs> oh my god, you can do that? Excellent B barrel.
That was terrifying. How are you two not freezing? Garrick, sir. You needn't look so downcast. But seeing the almighty Avalon quelled and by such a slight child, that child fell from the very sky. Is this a lay girl, some kind of monster in disguise? She is no monster. She is the one who risked life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Soleil. Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flat in their devo devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida? I know you're... I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Soleil has so much to teach us. She's, so, she's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife, so long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Soleil. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time rift gonna start closing up now or what? There's little way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Soleil. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Irida? We might never agree on who's right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've lost the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Komodo a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Well, that was terrifying. Like, proper terrifying. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. That was...
I like these little guys. Oh no! I figure I have to catch at least one Pokemon. Maybe more than one. <laughs> Fantastic stuff as always. I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report to the village. Now what? <laughs> Like I said, I've managed to avoid most of the spoilers for this game. Somehow. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. To think peace would be restored to Hisui by a handful of mysterious born Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Ah, uh, I get the feeling something bad's gonna happen. Go nourish yourself with the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey core work is not over. It does not stop until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. That was far too easy for it to be over.
thanks for the nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else you'd like to recommend, by all means, bring it out. Now that Avalog's quelled too, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of habit, havoc the frenzied nobles could have wrecked if Soleil had never come to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift still doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although wait, if the rift were to disappear, that would mean Soleil would be stuck here. While our little team is certainly very well practiced at investigating things now, we'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Soleil. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work. Or the survey corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on, nothing less than a completed Pokedex. With you around, that Pokedex is good as complete. Hey, how about I tag along as your assistant? Assistant? Come on, Ray, don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Ha! I knew it. <laughs> I knew it! What the heck? This doesn't look good, Soleil. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. I didn't do anything. Hmm. The way has the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There's a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Soleil fell from the sky, did it not? Seems only natural to think that the two events might be linked in some- Who or what really are you, Soleil? Indeed. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these friends, or you not? Did you think you could gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you brought about yourself? Having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest that Soleil has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think she's some sort of fearsome power it'd take to me? Do you really think she's got the sort of fearsome power it'd take to make all this happen? 
Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in time space. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Soleil supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy team. She remains a suspect until unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. I and I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Celine? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Soleil? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deed, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here, free, rather than clap you in chains. Holy crap! You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Let's go. This way. I had a feeling something like this was gonna happen. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village to the Landsands camp. I'll come too. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the field land camps. Safe travels. Oh, wow, that took a turn for the dark. I can't believe the boss would do this. I can, if I'm being honest. You quelled those noble frenzies under his own orders. Quite right, moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it right. This is utterly intoler intolerable and, might I add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must think quite such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Soleil more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer to help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both returned to their respective settlements. 
I bet you could start off by finding Lee in a Grand Tree Arena. I'm not sure where it might be, if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out here. That's in order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete your survey the commander has tasked you with. If I may offer my advice, in this life, you will meet both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? The dream simply won't come true without you. Wow, that's really harsh. But I suppose it was foreshadowed like crazy throughout the entirety of the game. Like, yeah, I'm suspicious from for falling out of the sky, but I get the feeling Commander Kamado's been up to something this whole time, too. I don't think he believed in me from the very beginning. You... what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. The lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could have come from that rift was a disaster. Help? Oh, well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly wish that I could repay you from quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You, you'll likely- you'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe she's a very- it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in this vastness of Hisui, there's a place for you as well.
My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I suppose it was too much to expect that of you. You could already have an answer to all this. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the one to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great we Weird Air took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but... Forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent of making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to walk a path. You'll find a path to walk. Volo. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Found you at last, Soleil. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard about what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. Seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. You do that? Here we are. I know. I know, it's no palace, but you know this you know the saying, beggars can't beggars about beggars and choosers. Skirting your shrink Shh. Shirking your work to come and pester me again, even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mish Mistress Kojita. But I'm afraid I'm not here to learn more about Hisui's myths and legends. <clears throat> no, Mistress, thank you. Just Kojita. And this? Kojita. Why, Soleil is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor rat she spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told.
The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far further from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. The expanse from antiquity to eternity, and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future, while space yawns all-encompassingly surrounding us in every dimension. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, ones who have known other ages. Now listen here, lost one. Here is what you must do. Isui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Aquity? Each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it, it won't close the rift? Spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old world, old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know, and regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave the legends to their children without thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, you. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Mistress, Kogeda's got a lovely workbench here, and if you need materials, I'll gladly help. I'm always happy to do business with you. That's a problem. What should we do about that, indeed? What was that cry? No, do we have a lost Pokemon here as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Soleil. An Abra. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport from, little fellow? It's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Soleil. To Soleil, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Selene. Good tidings from the letter, then. Now, th visit the Three Lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be one time to find soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. It seems all quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get... We'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we're to... If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would, gr would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'll just be one of us, me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Oh no.
Who do I choose? Erida, I'm sorry. I'm going with the Diamond Clan. Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flute in the first place? That's right. That's right. The strapping young man. You can count on me. Sorry, Erida. So then, the leftover leader will... Leftover? I'm not someone scraps. I will keep a watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one will come with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, first task will be to decide which of Hisui's region's three great lakes to visit first. Right, and we'd better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we're seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adamon. Don't cause trouble. some of these ralts. I've got a million of them. I'll keep the level 19 ones. Music is so sad. Commander Kamado better give me one hell of an apology once I figure all this crap out.
that was dumb. They say this lake actually used to be a, vol a volcano, then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so, Lake Verity was born. It was protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that the people first learned the joys and sorrow of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. That cave just, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that arc phone the professor was going on about? Let's do this, Soleil. Mistress Kojita seemed quite intense that you would have to prove yourself to all three Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never meant for the faint of heart. Fun. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing, Soleil. Prove to the Pokemon of the lake how strong you are. I forgot what this is weak against, despite the fact that I have one. Well, that's not bad. Well, that was bad. So I can catch it? I mean, I already have one, but... I can catch this thing, right? It should be weak enough. Probably not, but oh well. That's the way, Soleil. I can tell by watching that you and your Pokemon you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake.
Your emotions, share them with me. So it speaks straight from its mind to yours. It makes sense for a poem that embodies the aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell into this land, what's what stirred in your heart? How did it feel to bond with the Pokemon and work together? What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? What did you feel when you were cast out of the galaxy team? Take this place of the peace of the spirit to bind the world once more. I can't even imagine what that must have felt like, having a Pokemon talk to you without words. The world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now, we've got two more lakes to visit. My Pokemon are quite badly beaten. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll, I'll lead with Rhyperior. Well, looks like that worked out well, Soleil. Gotta admit, you sure know plenty about Hisui Volo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but I'm mostly just filled with natu- I'm naturally f filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened to the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose. I just want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. I think we'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I've even got some questions about its true nature. Weighty matters to ponder, for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kokita's home? Yeah, my Pokemon are kind of rough. They're in rough shape. Ah, Mesprit's plume. So the legend told, told it true. Th then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds. They'll be giving us this thing. They'll let us bind it in the world and solve all this mess. But how? Why? I doubt suggests... Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without a mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation only exists because our minds are all there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as I get it even less now. Such myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomparable ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. Well, you're absolutely right, myths are fascinating things to study. In any case, we'll have to, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound, how confident of success would you contribute nothing. 
You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Can I heal my Pokemon? Cause like, oh, they're all they're all back to normal. Excellent. Yeah, let's go here. That might be faster. Where do I need to go? Up there. Sorry, Werder. Here we are, like... Aquity. You know, I've been told that it... Can actually contain seawater as well. No one knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Aquity is protected by the Pokemon Ixie. When Ixie took flight, it, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite handy one to have. Let's go, Soleil. I imagine there may be a Pokemon in there as well, protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. <sighs> that is a normal ghost. Yeah, I'm a lead with Luxray. Luxray seems to be a decent lead. Oh my god! Sorry, Luxray. I'm gonna try catching it from this point on. I was afraid I was gonna one-shot it. Knew you could do it, Soleil. You feel a mysterious presence.
Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zuba, Unknown, Magnetop, Dust Clocks. How many are there eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Can you please repeat that? Combe. Six. Zuba, zero. Unknown, one. Magneton, three. Dusclops, one. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. <laughs> I have ADHD, like I would, I would have forgotten that immediately. Just one more to go. That was easier, but I'm kind of worried for the last one. What are they going to give me? I assume that all went well, so I... Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? I guess it's that I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe and to test us. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. That, having, though having said that, isn't there a chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? <sighs> we can say for sure, maybe the tr red chain has some other meaning besides mending the world. Well, you could, be, could be, you could well be right. I guess we'll never know. Have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we return to Mistress Kogita's home? Kogita? Kogita? I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> so that's Ixie's claw. I sense a warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lake are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed, yet we might just want to add a dash more s speed. Things in Jubilee Village are very tense. What makes you say so? It seems Pokemon, a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of the Gin Gin Go Guild merchants informed me that Commander Komodo has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon but to subdue it. Should the need arise. One of those gringo guild merchants, you make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if a Pokemon were to truly appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Soleil. There's no time to lose. We've got one, le one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch the historic moment unfold, too. Volo... You're getting kinda sus. Watch, is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. 
Volo, I'm starting to get kind of sus. Not gonna lie. I thought you were cool, but now I'm starting to think you're kind of sus. This time takes a turn for the dark once you quell the front the, the nobles. Exactly, are you? Who are you? And why do I get the feeling you're kind of not what you say you are? Jump in the lake. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though, there are also other theories that say it was carved out by the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is prevent protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf to flight, the will to do what needs to needs doing was born into people's hearts, or that's what the legend would have us believe. Alright, let's see what Pokemon I get to capture and well, quell and capture. I'm going to lead with Luxray again. Fishimi. Overquill. Oh, yikes. Ow. That did next to nothing. You're just poison. You're pure poison. Gudra. Probably have something to combat. You probably have something to. Counter that, don't you? Double edge. I better catch this thing. No. Catch. 
Watch, this one's gonna give me trouble because it has a recoiling move. Or a recoil damaging move. Or not. There we go. That's my soul eye. Show me your unwielding will. Strike me if you can. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you're meant to throw them at, Az at Az Azolf. I get it. He's testing your will. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. It's like our lake journey's complete. I don't trust Volo. I can't explain why. It seems we finished with the lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to head for shrouded ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Can you stay behind? The shrouded ruin. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, but it's long said to blur the boundaries. For it to somehow bring together the world of humans and the world of Pokemon and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time is right, huh? Age comes with wisdom, I guess. <sighs> I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Ah, 
Ah, oh, the Pokemon of the lakes. Just like that. So it was true. Act our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Soleil. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I heard some news from my fellow merchants in the Grinko Guild. It seems that Commander is going to forego his waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What? Well, what's he thinking? If it even makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't know yet that our Soleil has managed to get the red chain, now does he? That's right, we've got to let him know. It'll be alright th now that we have the red chain. Even command the commander should see reason and then call off this his foolhardy plan of his. Huh? Wait, Soleil, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait a second. I'll let the cap. I'll let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear Soleil. Professor, I know you've been worried about Soleil, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Don't mock your elders. Please, Ray. And besides, you weren't the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from while you're worrying over our friend. Y you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Soleil. Anyway, where's Captain Celine? Wasn't she coming with you? She's buried under, un under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that... Commander Kamado's gone. He set out for more Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. Does he have a death wish? And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the security corps folk. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. You managed, so you managed not to die. Just as I ordered. Well done. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, con inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask. I, assure, I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. Go on. A legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The Security Corps has been scouting the area near the Time Space Rift, and there are reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The Commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss might be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Soleil's help. As the captains are our ice, hereby order you to proceed as follows. Soleil, sing to Mount Coronet and make your way to the peak and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank.
Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. <laughs> Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. We members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. I'm back. I'm back. I am back. Ryolu. Or Lucario. Something the matter, Lucario? I'm Rai. And you are? Oh. Okay, you're so late. Nice to meet you. What is it, Lucario? It seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. You're willing to battle us. Could you come to the training grounds? Yes, sir. All right, let's... we can do that later. Adamon. There you are, Sola. Irida is already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? The commander is already at Mount Coronet. He already started up the mountain? He must be more reckless than dignified manner of... than that dignified manner of his lets on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, all right then. I guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Sole. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a waste to see you there. Hmm. Who is the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to help us... You still tried to find a way to help us all? That's right, so they worked hard to get rid of that red- to get that red chain to help everybody. She was right, and a fine job she did, too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone in the village, as well as the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks. Here, take this. Your orders, you th are, th are three. Make for the summit camp and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, return here, alive. Yes, ma'am. The child handing me the Max Revive was uh, quite Ominous, if I must say. I heard about the latest, so you've been accepted back to the galaxy team, have you? I suppose some congratulations are in order. Here are some max potions for me to celebrate. It's like the big moment is upon us at last. No doubt you'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Soleil, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. 
I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for his undertaking. As for me, I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Thank you. Oh, what do you want? Things certainly have seemed to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for more moral support, at least. Maybe you're not a jerk after all. You just... You just seem to be quite arrogant. These and I'm gonna take these and uh, I'm gonna take these. These. I think I'm ready. Electric. you Benny oh still alive and kicking sorry about having to shutter the wallflower I'd much rather be there serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi but taskmaster Kamado has left me to oversee our food supply he always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. What? While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. Traitor. I'll make myself plain as Kamado's right hand. I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get any get rid of any fools who might dream of getting in the way of his plan. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free from fear or strife. His dream is mine now too. What? You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. When I heard you manage to quell the nobles one after another, oh, did it make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to all to mold What the hell? Miss Magius. Oh, not the best lead. Definitely not the best lead.
Benny, you... I'm gonna go down in one hit anyway, so let's do it. What do we have to lose? Oh crap, we got two more Pokemon, or one more after this. Again, what do we have left? What do we have to lose? I know how to deal with you. Shit. Dragon. Sorry for swearing. No need to worry. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only foolish, only a foolish ninja who tries who tries to keep up after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. I might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you've shown in battle. But listen, Zoli, Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by a maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here, to Hisui, to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, sometimes you have extreme actions have to be taken. If, hypothetical as it may be, Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from, his for from himself, by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Can you heal my Pokemon? Thank you. Can you heal my Pokemon? <laughs> You've brought the red chain. Soleil, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's certainly been sighted through the through the rift. I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading towards the temple. Arceus. Whoa! 
What the fresh hell is he wearing? You again. I heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but... But can I truly put faith in such tales? Trust me. What do you think even the red chain- even the red train- chain is some trick on Soleil's part? She worked mightily to get that thing, and I would know. I was with her the whole time. I saw her rise to the challenge- trial set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If she somehow concocted all of that on her own, then what hope do we even have anyway? Perhaps you are right. I'm gonna have to fight this guy, aren't I? If I, but if I were to simply place, place my faith in this girl, then that, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon Sole. Today we battle in earnest. Braviary. What am I leading with? Uh, what's your typing? I should have used strong style. Oh god, why? You're gonna crunch me, aren't you? Or that. My god. Isn't that supposed to hit with recoil? Oh, this is not going well. This, this is gonna be a problem, this particular Pokemon. everything on my team weak to ground. Let's get rid of this thing once and for all. Barrel fainted. Oh, 
Yeah. I don't care. Figures, Gudras fainted. Oh god. Ah. Uh, damn it. Thunder. Can I just skip through all this again? Okay, it skips right to the battle. The Snorlax is a problem. I don't care. Oh god, that didn't take it out. Of course you're gonna use a max potion, you jerk. Excellent. This thing is such a problem.
Snorlax doing anything agile is absolutely hysterical to me. We're gonna do normal style first and then strong style with my second attack. But then he gets to attack three times in a row, eh? Just take it out in one shot. Problem solved. already injured from recoil damage. It's okay, B barrel. <laughs> he leads with Clefable. I'm in a favorable position. attack again. I got the burn. That's fine. Let's end this. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Heal my Pokemon. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Soleil, the fates have been decided. I concede and apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask you that it of you at no any longer, but please, use that strength of yours for the sake of Galaxy Expedition. No, for the sake of Celestica people and all the people living in Hisui. Don't you worry, Commander, we've got the red chain.
just gonna ride my demigod. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head, something's talking inside my head. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. It's telling me. You hold the red chain, try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come. Take these. I'm just gonna do this all. Dialga. didn't work. I have to catch this without a master ball? Oh god. Like, this is gonna work. I didn't think so. What is your typing? You're steal something. Submit to me. Or not. Sorry, Luxray. I said submit to me.
Oh, this is going horribly. I'm gonna keep throwing this at it. Submit to me. She caught it. The red chain is shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the lake our thanks for getting us this far. Well done, Soleil, my girl. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Oh, it's, it's all because she had me to show her the ropes when she first got here. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaking to me in my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied ones. Come to fight, now human. Fight with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. There's no way Soleil could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that one just now. I'm gonna need Dialga. Palkia. All of you, we must vacate this. God, forget the fancy talk and book it. Come on, we gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce. You won't be any use to anyone if you die up here on this map. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it's a lay. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seemed that- it seems likely a buildup of that same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there really- there were two almighty Sinnoh after all. I guess that means neither of our clans was really- I must apologize from the bottom of my heart to both of you, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Soleil. And to you, Soleil, I acted on ill-considered presumption, Ill presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you strove to save all of Hisui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. The face of what's in front of us dwell on... That d then dwell on the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move. No, s no need to speak any further about my rash, de rash decisions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems Soleil has... Having Soleil about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, 
Thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance of getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it. How can- how is she to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I've got a plan. Thanks to what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga? The Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, along with its name, it also told me what we need. The Stone of Creation's Beginning, the Chain of Red, the Vessel of Human's Kind Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now per And finally, Mighty Dialga says that it wants to go back with to the temple with us. Well then, the, rain, the red chain we have at least. The pieces anyway. I did collect them. The vessel of humankind's invention, I dare... I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be, but what about the stone of creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Then is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource, resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Labyrinthine? Do you have any idea what the stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Soleil, my girl, could you lend me those plates you received from Werder and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Just as I remembered, here on the back of the earth plate it says, when the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think that might be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see we must search for the stone, or rather ore? I suppose that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe young Leon might know just where to find such a thing. He's been at investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, Vol the Volo fellows come around the diamond settlement asking about those plates before too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then, thus let's begin our search for the stones of creation's beginning. Although the name is a, a r m rather a mouthful. What do you say we- I propose we call it Origin Or. Okay. Irida, might I ask, may we ask for your aids, your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Leon to the sur summit camp at once. I've waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect. My invitation just never came, so I decided to honor you with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adamant, I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with, but what about the great Melly? Where's my role in this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would ya? Fine. Whatever, just hurry up and give me a job, great leader, Adaman. <laughs> Make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. And all the other wardens are busy looking for their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamant. Oh, 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 you silly foolish boy. Don't un don't you understand every anything? Everyone has work they're suited for, for and work they're not. Oh, and I before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as, as a reward for your noble, adorable efforts. My way of encouraging the little people. You're all so little compared to me. I've brought Lean. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted. For my wisdom. Shut up, Melly. Hisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was first I was the first to realize the fact. It's only natural that I would be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to keep it take it up with Cleaver in battle. 
sub bumble with that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidity. Stupidly oversized tree, shall we prove to you right now? Melly, go jump off a cliff. Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adam, man. Roman back home is all worked up over the fact that you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh or Mighty Diop. What, whatever. This is a Diamonds Clan day. Be proud. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Let us sit out at once. We make, we make way for the primeval grotto. Uh, I might call it here. I'm tired of reading. And this video has gone on long enough. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Stay safe. And this is Shark